Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, I have another M3 comparison. Um, this time it's going to be an F80 M3 and my E90 M3. So a little backstory, I did actually contemplate getting an F80 or F82. Uh, but my reasonings for it, which they're totally subjective, I'm not saying that they're right. This is just from my you know point of view, is basically, for one, the E90 was cheaper. Um, not going to lie. I think price usually factors into people's choices on cars. Another thing is I wanted the V8 because um, this was the only M3 that came with a V8. I know there's like the E46 um, M3 CSL, which I think that came with a V8 as well, but that's rare as hell and I'm not getting that shit. So I picked the E90 ultimately because of the price, the V8 in uh, the car, and also because I just, you know, it for some reason the sound on the F80s, they're kind of it depends on the person, but I don't really like it as much. Um you could do things to kind of uh you know, make it sound better. I don't know if I think they have like equal length headers and stuff like that. I'm not sure, but overall out the package, like just straight from the factory, I did prefer the E90. Um I do I will say that the F80 does look better and it, it aged better than the E90 but that's to be expected because you know um, it is newer but yeah we are gonna head over to my friend David he's gonna tell me or tell us why he chose the F80 and just give us a little you know walk around out of his car hey what's up guys my name is David um, this is my 2018 M3 it's a silver stone metallic on red uh, I specifically wanted that combo um, as you can see, I got some uh, T37s on it, on some R888s, and uh, we lowered it with some springs. I got a GTS hood. Um, that's basically it as far as mods go. So I had an M6 before this. Um, after that was gone, and I had to make a decision on what I wanted to get, um, I kind of started leaning towards the F80. Um, I've always liked the body style. Um, yeah in my opinion they don't really sound too good either um you could get like a single mid pipe get it to sound pretty decent um but it, it just doesn't have that sound um but i chose it because it was a car that can basically do everything um you can take it around town um it's luxurious you can make them fast um for me i kind of want to turn it into like a track car uh, something playful so with this car, I uh, basically want to turn it into a track car, make it the best that it can be. Um, I'm under a factory warranty right now, so I kind of don't want to touch the motor yet. I'll probably dial in the suspension and handling and all that first. And then uh, eventually it would be cool to single turbo it. That's like way down the road though. And uh, yeah, S55 motor, straight six twin turbo, um, full bolt-ons downpipe tune um, intercooler and then you're good you're basically up to like 600 at the wheels already um, which is cool it's cool um, but yeah down the road single turbo we'll push it to the max how does this car compare to your m6 um, this compared to the m6 so it's a lot lighter so putting around town and stuff is kind of easier the car gets up to speed better um, doesn't have that torque or the top end that the M6 does though. As soon as I get on the freeway, I feel like this thing kind of dies. Like not not the power's not there anymore. Uh, the M6 just keeps pulling even on the freeway, like no matter what. Um, I'll get the power levels to where I like it eventually after the warranty is done. Um, but yeah, other than that, it handles a lot better than the M6. That's for sure. We finished up the interview portion where David's talking about why he chose the car. Um, now we're going to get into the fun part where we're in the uh, ride along portion. Uh, he's going to take me real quick to show me like the power and also just a little bit of a spirited cruise uh, through a canyon. It's going to be really fun. This is actually my first time um, riding in an F80. So it's going to be an experience and I'm definitely going to give my thoughts on how it compares to my car in all aspects like handling, power, and um, just 
the overall experience. I will tell you right now, the interior is way better than my car. You can even, you don't even have to go inside. You can just see through the fucking uh, the windshield that it's better. But yeah. All right. So this is my first my first experience in an F80. Definitely like the interior better than my car. Got the little carbon fiber and all that. Infotainment centers, obviously, much more updated. Looks like he's been getting 16 miles per gallon. <laughs> 17, let's just, let's round it up. Yep, 16.9. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, we're gonna hit, we're gonna head over to a canyon and just get a little feel for how his car performs right now. After getting to experience the F80 M3, uh, it's definitely been a blast. The car is super responsive. It's definitely way faster than my E90. That's probably what it feels like to have torque. Um, but yeah, the car also, it's hugging the road. Like his setup is pretty good right now. And he was talking about bringing it to the track, which I highly recommend because I'm sure this could put down pretty good times as it is. But yeah, the car, it doesn't sound too bad when it's in the high RPMs. Um, it sounds better than I expected is what I'm getting at. But um, yeah, this was really fun. Uh, it was nice experiencing the F80 M3. It's definitely like a luxurious go-kart. Um, it, I, If I'm not mistaken, it's a little lighter than my E90, which is really cool. But yeah, it was a really fun video. Shout out to David for coming out and making this possible. But yeah, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next upload.